on today's episode, will it stay? Bro. Oh. That ain't right. That's how we start the weekend, boys. Yo, hold up. What? We got a flat. I, I knew I shouldn't have parked it in the rocks at my house. Well, that's flat, flat. Sorry for the lack of uploads, guys. The car has been sitting here for the last two weeks. Hasn't moved. The car hasn't been driven since the last video. Only 100 miles have been put on the new clutch. And it needs to be revised. Something isn't right but the delay has been waiting for the flywheel which is in now and now we're waiting for the mechanic because he decided to go out of town this weekend until next weekend i can actually drop off the car so i'm sorry guys all right uh this this clutch setup will be for sale it's in good condition still the old oem loop clutch so here you guys can see the disc so this will be for sale as soon as the lightweight flywheel is out because that'll also be for sale here is the OEM Luke flywheel. And man, this thing is dumb heavy. Probably another 12 pounds heavier than the one that's in there. The clutch line, and we also have this transmission gear additive. We're gonna be throwing in the transmission. I think it's to thicken it up, but uh, Taylor recommended this. And we have the friction plate. Everything is here ready to go to be installed. So for today's video, I decided to do the manifold because I do not like the chrome look. The piping's fine to stay chrome, but this guy, I want it to be a wrinkle black. I also need to pull the valve covers off because I put seals in wrong on the spark plugs. I forgot I did that. So make sure you guys leave a like on today's video, stick around to the end, and let's get right into it. That's hard. That's it like it flows nicely, you know what I'm saying? Come on, buddy. There we go. I think it's important that I show you guys the mistake that I made. Um, it's embarrassing even saying it. So we just pulled off the valve cover right here and pulled off this coil, pulled this one, pulled this one. The center one was leaking oil. There was oil inside of here. We just got it all cleaned up. The mistake that I made, here's proof. I put the coil seals in backwards the first time, guys. And when I made the video, somebody called me out on it and I was like, man, yeah, I did put it in backwards. I felt really stupid and we ordered another kit and then I just forgot to put them in. We had them in like that instead of like that. And so the center one was already leaking and now we're gonna do the backside. Now I'm gonna go through all these, make sure they're clean in the inside. It's the following day, guys. We got everything wrapped up with the valve covers. Everything should be nice and sealed. We got Wrinkle Plus paint aircraft ultra paint remover use that 
to get rid of all the silver paint that was put onto here. We got mask on deck. Old brush we'll be using to apply. A couple knives, tape, we'll tape it up and get right to it. I just opened it and I can still smell it like crazy. So I need some ventilation in here. I didn't really need to tape it all up. For the most part, everything in the front, except for all the pockets and stuff, were a lot of caked up. You could just tell from the finish, honestly. You could tell it was black before, and then got sprayed over silver, so there was two layers of paint on it, and that's why it just did not look good. I could take my fingernail and was able to chip it off. I'll dry it real quick, get another coat on there, put some plastic over it, and that should uh, get the rest of it on off there. Pulled out the crusty forklift and it works perfect. If you guys are wondering why I'm not powder coating it, just be a, a quick budget friendly DIY. So here she is guys, ready for some primer. I've seen some people not use primer, you don't really have to. I think it might just help it stick a little bit better. So I'm gonna put a light coat of primer on. Oh yeah. going straight to my camera. You're just gonna have to watch from back there, I guess. The secret with this stuff is thicker coats and then going over with a heat gun. We're gonna put three fairly heavy coats on it. In between coats, we'll hit it with the heat gun and we should get a nice wrinkle finish. She is all dried up. This thing has been painted now for a week and a half. There's these little studs for the coil packs right here. It just had to be the back one, but when I went to pull them off, two of them just stripped on their way out because these were tightened down too much. So guys, don't over tighten down these little nuts that go on top of the coil pack. 
studs. So we had to order the OEM and we waited a week and a half for these to come in before I could put the manifold back on. So that's where we're picking up this video. It has been so long. I guess I fell for it again. I really thought the wrinkled black would have laid way better than this, but like it kind of just rounded out right here. Thing kind of filled in right here. Maybe I shouldn't have painted it tilted up because I really took the heavy coat serious and it ran a little bit, but whatever. It doesn't come off with your fingernails, so that is better than the silver already. Pretty clean, pretty clean. It does, you shouldn't even hear all that. The short shifter is nice. It takes some getting used to, for sure. This little cover piece is pretty nice, too. Even when I got this thing, bro, like, just the simple things like this just made driving your car so much more fun. I wanted to pull the car around and get some photos of the engine bay, but... I'm just, I don't really want to drive the car in this condition. Well, that felt horrible. Oh, I missed that sound. Alright, and now that she's cooking up the temp, Good. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. A little simple DIY. I know it didn't turn out perfect, but you know, that's how it goes. The car looking banger, bro. I can't stop. Bro, this angle of the car is absolute, bro. I will not. How could I ever get rid of this car, bro? Thank you guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon.